Dr. Jaffe, uh, can you help us understand how the body builds and restores collagen? Um, also, are there instances where collagen needs to be taken as a supplement? And what perk supplements do you recommend uh, to help collagen formation and repair? Well, first, with regard to the question of collagen, and for full disclosure, my PhD was on collagen and elastin connective tissue crosslinks, how they form and how they're inhibited. And I'm going to give you the headline first, and then I'm going to explain what I mean. If you want to build collagen, then you need to have the family of buffering antioxidants, the family of buffering minerals, the family of essential cofactors, and that team synthesizes creates collagen. Now, every 25 years or so, collagen as a supplement comes into vogue and then quickly goes out of vogue because it is a very inexpensive protein to harvest. You harvest it from the hooves and skin of animals that have been rendered. So whatever is left after all of the valuable parts of the animal are removed, can be processed, heated, and extracted to derive either collagen or gelatin, which is denatured collagen, um, easily, very inexpensively, but it's a very poor protein in regard to, it's not a complete protein, it doesn't have all the amino acids we need. It's a very unique protein, and taking in oral collagen or oral gelatin does not build new collagen or bring healthy collagen into the body in any way. So there's a myth that if you lack collagen because your body is falling apart in the infrastructure in the connective tissue, that, oh, maybe if you took grams and grams of collagen or gelatin orally, you'd bring in collagen and stick it in place. Now, that can only be said by someone who's not a biochemist, and most of us are not. But those of us who are biochemists know that collagen is a very large asymmetric molecule, 300,000 Daltons. And I mean over maybe 1,000 Daltons, maybe 10 amino acids is the largest thing the body can take up. So gelatin is not absorbed, collagen is not absorbed. It can be broken down to peptides, but those peptides are rich in glycine and proline to well, the proline is an essential amino acid. You need some proline, although the body can make proline from glutamate inside the cell. Glycine is a very common amino acid. It's not essential, but it is important. So oral collagen or oral gelatin does not build or bring or enhance the body's collagen. You have to synthesize it in place. And the body is quite remarkable. We have surveillance cells. These are part of the immune defense and repair system. Part of the immune defense and repair system sends cells to every part of the body to see if the collagen or elastin, which is not just connective tissue, it's carrying information, it's piezoelectrically responsive, it's the orienting molecule for the basement membrane that the cells all sit on, it's turn, it turns out that collagen is involved with many, many aspects of health and lack of collagen is very common because people don't have the energy, the ascorbates, the magnesium, the CoQ10, they don't have the energy inside the repair cells that allows the actual synthesis of collagen inside the cell, then it's transported through something called the Golgi apparatus, and then the body directs that collagen where it needs to be placed to repair a worn out collagen molecule. And then certain little ends, the, the N-terminal and the C-terminal are clipped off and the collagen is put in place. Now, I could spend an entire hour just talking about that subject, but I think I've given you the headlines and the important takeaway. The myth of collagen supplements Enhancing the body's collagen is simply a myth. And worse than that, 25 years ago when collagen was in vogue, people like me were speaking about not taking it in, not orally taking in collagen and elastin. And then it turned out that people who took in a bunch of it had kidney failure. Because it's an incomplete protein to begin with. If it gets in the body, it's going to 
contribute to the load on the kidneys. And many people have marginal or, or somewhat impaired kidney function, but if they're careful, they're still okay. Their lamellular filtration rate will be less than 45, whereas it should be over 100. And following through on repair enhancing programs like LRA by ELISA Act testing and treatment suggestions has been associated with improving kidney function, building all the collagen you need. As long as you energize those surveillance repair cells, they'll, they know how to do their job. And it's very elegant and complicated, and, and I've tried to indicate that I understand it, and I hope the more technical uh, listeners will appreciate how I synthesize that information. But the takeaway is you build collagen and you put it in place. Oral collagen is um, a very poor source of supplementation. And while it's very profitable for the companies that sell it, it is not a physiologically helpful molecule. And therefore, at Perk and Perk Integrative Health, we would never sell a gelatin or collagen molecule. So, complicated subject, but important to take away that you build and put collagen in place through your cellular energetics rather than by teaspoon by mouth.